Hello everyone. For the past several months, I've been taking a class involving SAS, and I haven't done a video on the SAS programming language yet, so I thought I'd create one and talk about how it is different from Java or C++. Now, if you're like me, you started in Java or C++, and uh, as I was actually learning Java, I would hear it to people talk about or see somewhere on a forum they would talk about SAS, and I always wondered what it is. So here is what it is, and your first impression might be thinking, well, this looks very old. And I'll be honest with you, when you uh, use SAS, it kind of feels old as well. But it is very powerful and it has a very specific purpose. Now, when you learn Java, Java is a very versatile language. If you want to make, create a game, you can use Java code to create a game. If you want to modify a massive text file containing data, you could do that as well. It might be a bit cumbersome in Java, but you could do it. Now. Uh, SAS has a specific purpose, and if you Google SAS, it says the SAS language is a computer programming language used for statistical analysis, and that is what SAS is used for. It is used to analyze big data, and it is very nice because you can import data from text files, you can import data from Excel, or you can even do what I'm about to do and just type the data in by hand. So I thought I'd give you a nice short demonstration here on how to write some code and show you what SAS can do. Now, let's talk about the code. First thing that you'll see is that the lines end in a semicolon. So for those of you with a Java or C++ background, that's good, that should be familiar. When you write a SAS program, it's built around uh, some data. So you have either some text file or some Excel spreadsheet that contains data and you're going to import it into SAS and that's what you're going to use to, uh, that's what you're going to analyze then and you'll use SAS to analyze that data. Now, the first line is typically we're going to specify what the data is or what the name of the data is. This is just a name, so I just said we're going to create data and it will be called demo. Next, I'm going to input my variables by hand, so I'll say input x, y, z. We're going to have three variables, and these are the names of the variables x, y, and z. Then I have this copied in here. Let's paste it in. There's my data. To enter data by hand, you can just say data lines, enter in all the data, and then just make sure you end with a semicolon that signifies this is the end of our data. Now, SAS stores the data, and we can see this by saying proc print and then run. Now, proc stands for procedure, so we're just saying use the print procedure and then go ahead and run this code. So when we run now, it's going to show us, and I've ran things before, you can ignore everything above the line, but this shows us that we have nine observations, here are our variables x, y, and z, and these are the observations for those specific variables, which is very nice. Now, we have imported the data, and now it's going to be stored into a library. Where the data is actually stored in, the, in your libraries is up to you. If you just leave it as default, like I did here, then it's going to be stored in the work library. So we go into the work library, here's demo, we can open this up, and it should be the exact data we put in. Right there's nine observations, X, Y, and Z. Yes, everything looks good. And again, you can change that if you want to. I'm not going to cover it in this video, but you can change it so that it's not stored in that work library. All right, moving right along. So we have data imported. We know where it's stored in our libraries now. Now we can go ahead and actually analyze some of this data. And there are many, many procedures you can use to analyze data. I'm only going to come or cover one here, and it's going to be a nice simple one called proc means, which is the means procedure. So after you put proc means, you can specify the data explicitly if you would like. So we could say use the means procedure on the data named demo. And then semicolon. Once, you're, uh, once you've specified the procedure for means, now we need to say what variables we want to run the means procedure on. So let's just say var, let's just run it on x for now. Then I'm going to put run again. Now you might be thinking, why are there two runs? Well, it doesn't matter how many runs you actually have. So you can actually just submit selections in SAS. So if I want to run this, I can right click and hit submit selection or I could submit all, it would just run the data and put it in our work again. But what I usually do is just highlight it and then use the, uh, the fast key F8. So that's going to run and now it's going to run the means procedure and this shows us our means procedure now. So it says analysis variable was X 
n is 9, meaning that there were 9 observations. The mean is 3.7, standard deviation, and then it gives us our minimum and our maximum. But the really nice thing about the means procedure is that you can uh, explicitly specify what uh, types of analysis you want. So you can say mean, median, mode, and now when we run it, it's going to analyze variable x and specifically give us the mean, the median, and the mode. So there we have it, analysis variable x, mean, median, mode. And we can even do this for uh, more variables if we want. Let's say we want to do it for x, y, and z. Uh, no commas or anything, just put spaces right in between, submit the selection. And here's the means procedure, x, y, z, mean, median, and mode for all three of them. And the last thing I want to talk about here that I haven't mentioned yet is the log. So the log is very similar to the console uh, of Java or C++ of an IDE that you would use with those languages. So this, if you write something that's going to cause an error, it will show up in your log here. So just to demonstrate this, let's say we want to run the means procedure on variable x by z. This should end up giving an error. So let's run. And there we have it. There's our big red error, and this will describe the error and help you try to fix it. But okay, I hope that gave you an overview or an introduction to SAS and what it's used for and how it's different than Java and C++. Uh, I plan on making several of these videos in this playlist, uh, specifically covering the tests and the distributions that are used in linear regression and multiple linear regression. So thanks for watching.